Well, uh, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have this uh, phone with Mr. Amr Abd Rahman, uh, uh, writer and uh, journalist. Uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. Well, good afternoon to you and hello to the dear viewers. Thank you so much. Well, uh, Mr. Abd Rahman, um, uh, now uh, this uh, important visit, uh, the first visit uh, uh, by the uh, Danish Prime Minister to come to Egypt in a three-day uh, visit coinciding with the uh, 50, uh, 60 fifth anniversary of uh, the establishment of the diplomatic ties uh, between uh, Egypt and uh, Denmark. Uh, how do you see the timing uh, of this uh, visit and uh, the significance of it? Well, of course, Egypt welcomes uh, Danish Prime Minister uh, Mita Fredriksen. Uh, well, of course, we have a, a very strong and remarkable uh, relations with uh, the friendly nation and the friendly leadership in Denmark. Uh, Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi has expressed this feeling and this uh, direction in the Egyptian diplomacy clearly in the uh, joint uh, conference with uh, PM, uh, the, the Danish uh, PM, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mita uh, Fredrickson. I believe we have such uh, significant, uh, strong relations, uh, relations with this uh, country. And of course, we have a, a long history for, for more than 60 years, and even more uh, at the level of the nations between uh, the Egyptian nation and the Danish. And of course, we have so much uh, hopes and doors to, to knock on and uh, fields to, to, uh, to attract the investors in both countries and to strengthen, to strengthen our uh, partnership uh, economically, uh, politically, uh, even uh, on too many levels. Yes, uh, during the press conference, uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi have welcomed the, the Danish Prime Minister's Minister, and uh, he said that they discussed various fields of cooperation uh, and tackled means of cooperation, especially in the green hydrogen. And for her part, the uh, uh, Danish Prime Minister said that uh, uh, Denmark uh, would uh, 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 really appreciate to, uh, uh, is planning to uh, coordinate, coordinate with Egypt uh, in the fields of um, uh, green hydrogen. Yes, of course. I believe that uh, that special uh, point is one of the, the, the most uh, significant fruits of the, uh, the, the successful leadership uh, uh, of the Egyptian leadership of the, uh, the past uh, uh, COP27 uh, climate change uh, summit in Egypt, in Sharm el Sheikh, which is uh, this success has uh, uh, drawn attention, more attention, to how strong Egypt uh, as a state, as a, as a leadership, not only uh, in, the, in, the, in the region, uh, Arabically and Africally, but also uh, worldwide. This is what uh, Mrs. Prime, uh, Prime Minister has tackled upon. And of course, we uh, such uh, projects like uh, green hydrogen and uh, have to, to face uh, the, consequ uh, the consequ uh, consequences of uh, the chaos that's uh, going all through the, the, the climate right now, and to have to face the climate change for the best uh, of the whole humanity. Yes. Uh, of course, with su such cooperation ties, uh, between Egypt and uh, Denmark is a symbol of how uh, two countries from two uh, different continents can work together uh, friendly uh, with, with, the, with a common view, with a common uh, aspect, how to face this issue. Yes, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, also for her uh, part, uh, uh, during the press conference, uh, the Prime Minister, the visiting uh, uh, Denmark, Danish uh, Prime Minister, uh, said that Egypt is a rich country with raw materials and energy. And uh, 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 after speaking about the green uh, hydrogen, she said uh, that Egypt is rich with raw materials, materials and uh, uh, rich with the energy, which means, uh, 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 and that uh, Denmark would like to cooperate uh, and uh, invest in Egypt in this uh, field. Well, I believe that Egypt is an African country, a leading uh, African country, and the whole continent is filled with raw materials. And 
filled with uh, greater uh, chances for investors from all over the world. And of course, from the, 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 the Danish uh, nation, of course, we have so many, so, so, so many uh, opportunities. Uh, we have so many uh, mega projects that has opened arms for all investors from uh, Danish and other countries in Europe and uh, uh, other than Europe. We believe that those chances are just a very important uh, pillars on how to build and strengthen and uh, make it even uh, a wide aspect uh, on how to strengthen our relations with the Danish uh, nation and, and uh, the country. Yes, uh, so uh, also uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi uh, spoke of uh, uh, that uh, uh, they both uh, have uh, discussed uh, uh, several fields, uh, among them was uh, uh, the uh, migration and uh, 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 that, uh, that Egypt is uh, uh, really uh, combating uh, the illegal migration uh, to uh, Europe and that Egypt is hosting uh, and taking care of 6 million refugees without uh, any uh, thing in return and these uh, refugees are living here among the uh, Egyptian citizens uh, not in camps or something and Egypt is providing them with all facilities uh, and even health care how do you see the words by the president the whole world is a witness that uh, the stronger Egypt uh, that has become after uh, right afterward uh, the June 30 revolution how we compacted uh, terrorism, how we, ha we have already triumphed our, our war against terrorism, which is a, a very significant uh, step in how to face the, uh, the consequences of uh, the Zionist spring that hit the whole region uh, a decade before, a decade ago. And, of course, we have fought and strongly and firmly uh, controlled the borders the, uh, not only the Egyptian borders, but the, the borders all around us. So we have prevented the illegal uh, migration from Middle East to Europe. I believe that this is a very significant point that the whole uh, European nations uh, realize. And without the stronger Egypt, without the stronger country that we, ha that we are, and we are getting stronger just by the second we are speaking. This is how we can take our, our leadership. And that's, again, what uh, Mrs. Uh, Prime Minister, Danish Prime Minister has tackled upon. The stronger Egypt in the region, the very important uh, role. This role is important not only for Egypt, but for the whole world, to the east and to the west. Yes, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, also uh, 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 Danish Prime Minister uh, uh, Meta Frederiksen uh, have uh, thanked Egypt uh, and President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi for the successful hosting of uh, COP27 conference uh, which took place uh, last November in uh, uh, Sharm el-Sheikh and said that e Egypt is really playing a leading role uh, in uh, the field uh, of, uh, 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 of the climate change with the uh, with organizing successfully organizing the COP27. What's your comment on this? I believe that the success of the, the Egyptian leadership of this uh, important summit facing the climate changes, and of course uh, that we have reached a, a very strong recommendation and conclusion to this uh, summit that is being applied right now, that we, ha that we have held the, the, the European countries that are responsible for that climate change to have uh, and to establish that fund uh, for facing and helping other nations in the third world and even other uh, countries to help against consequences uh, for this climate change and working together. This can never be accomplished without a strong leadership. This is what happened. That, this is what uh, Mrs. Uh, Mita Fredrickson has um, uh, implied too. And of course, we, we are going together, uh, side by side, working at the same field, uh, even not just only by words, not just only by uh, decisions, but by making, uh, by making it real on the level of cooper economical cooperation, by establishing uh, high-tech uh, technology, based upon uh, green hydrogen, 
uh, project. This is what uh, we are talking about here. We're talking about co cooperation between the, the businessmen in uh, Denmark and in Egypt, uh, working side by side, and which we have already. We have the open arena for such projects, even w whether in the uh, Suez Canal zone, economical zone, or other cities and other green cities uh, built upon the highest and the most modern uh, measures of green uh, cities on the, on the very uh, international uh, measures. Yes. Uh, also, uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi uh, said uh, that uh, Egypt is looking forward for uh, uh, cooperation and agreements in all fields uh, with, the, uh, uh, with Denmark, especially uh, uh, or upgrading the already uh, 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 their uh, uh, cooperation in the fields of the transport, energy, and also uh, environment. And for her part, the Prime Minister of Denmark said that uh, Denmark have uh, really appreciates uh, the role, the significant and pivotal role that Egypt plays in the region and in uh, being uh, the uh, speaking with the tongue of uh, Africa uh, and uh, the role it plays in the Middle East uh, uh, region uh, and praised the relationships between uh, the relation the diplomatic relations between Egypt and Denmark which have always uh, uh, through the history uh, have uh, uh, always been very good relations well I believe that uh, there are very strong ties economical ties between Egypt and Denmark is significant and of course we're talking about more than 27 billion uh, Egyptian pounds that's how the, uh, the amount of our, the, the, the Danish uh, uh, investments in Egypt. I believe also that Egypt is the gate uh, for Africa. We believe that in Africa, here in Egypt, we uh, created a new example on how to deal with uh, investment from abroad. We're talking about uh, this cooperation between the, the, the private sector and the public sector working side by side. Uh, and this is the symbol that we are uh, giving it to, uh, to the African nations to work upon. And, and as for Egypt, we are dealing with the same strategy, the economical strategy with our uh, counterparts in, uh, in Europe and other uh, continents. We're talking about uh, expanding our uh, economical uh, horizon we're talking about in, uh, welcoming uh, the new uh, technology and uh, nationalizing, localizing our, uh, the, the, the technology from Denmark and other uh, developed countries. We're talking about cooperation between the businessmen in Egypt and a lot, side by side with the uh, public sector uh, in Egypt with the investment and the governmental, uh, of course, cooperation uh, with Egypt. This is a very important for our economy, for their economy, for the, they want to expand their economy, of course, in Africa. And we are welcoming this expanding based upon our own strategy, which can give uh, an under control or, or a controlled uh, way of uh, expanding, but um, under the eyes of the, 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 the leadership of this country. And of course, this is the, 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 the symbol that all uh, African nations could uh, go uh, and take uh, take this symbol as a as a as a very as a role model. Yes. Uh, so, Mr. Abdul Rahman, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. Uh, in general concerning the foreign uh, relations was always keen to achieve balance and diversity in Egypt's uh, foreign relations uh, in a way that leads to maximizing Egypt's economy, uh, military, cultural, uh, scientific and political uh, interests. Uh, the president also uh, was working uh, to achieve uh, 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 this this success uh, as uh, uh, the region is uh, and the whole world is facing uh, uh, challenges as well as uh, uh, that he exerted efforts to enhance uh, uh, bilateral cooperation between Egypt and all the countries uh, around uh, uh, the world. So uh, uh, give us an idea about the leap or the upgrade that you have felt uh, in the uh, uh, Egyptian uh, Danish uh, relations uh, on the diplomatic side uh, uh, on the 
diplomatic level since President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi came to office? I believe that uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has gained to Egypt even more uh, strong uh, relations with all countries, either West or East. I believe that Denmark has strengthened uh, the relations with uh, the, the, the Egyptian leadership uh, on, the, on, the most, on the highest level. I believe that the raise uh, the, the, to, uh, of the, um, the Danish investments in Egypt represent uh, how important Egypt uh, is for the uh, European continent. I believe the, the, uh, the, the, the Europeans, uh, they let their investments speak for, for their own situations. And they, they are interested in cooperating with Egypt. On the other hand, the strong Egypt economically, after we have and we are building our own uh, solid uh, industrial base uh, with our mega project in uh, technological and, and industrial uh, and even in the military in the industries that gives us a very strong position in how to, uh, on how to re negotiate cooperation and expanding that cooperation for the benefits of all, both sides. We have things that the, the Danish investor would want to uh, reach out and buy. We have, uh, we have a, a wide uh, market for the Danish uh, goods. We have a very strong, a strong base, uh, an industrial, uh, economical, uh, an economical base for the Danish uh, industries and technologies to come into Egypt and cooperate with our own uh, growing up uh, industrial base. This is how we can build and strengthen our uh, very strong uh, economical and industrial, uh, even military uh, relations with, with Denmark. Yes, uh, also uh, 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 the, the president, uh, uh, I mean uh, prime minister uh, of uh, Danish uh, have said uh, that uh, Egypt is rich with energy when Europe was uh, uh, the, in the uh, previous months uh, was suffering from the problem of uh, energy uh, whole Europe. So uh, she said that the, uh, uh, the uh, Europe could benefit from uh, Egypt in uh, many fields, and especially the field of uh, energy, as we, uh, as you uh, just uh, mentioned. Uh, uh, how is Egypt important for uh, uh, European countries? Well, I'm sure that the intelligent diplom diplomacy of Egypt on how to deal with the Eastern and, and Western powers has made it clear for all nations all around the world that Egypt is only seeking friendship and cooperation uh, with both, uh, with all the countries, all, uh, either East or the West. On this basis, we are now, uh, I believe we are the second uh, supplier for, for, for European countries with gas and other uh, uh, appliances of, uh, of gas uh, and uh, other uh, energy sources. I believe this is very important uh, way we can, we are uh, making, and making our own diplomacy and strategy on how to deal with the East and the West countries. This is how we, all countries can rely on a strong and independent uh, strategy and diplomacy that Egypt is given and making it as an example on how a country can be independent in making all their, uh, its own decision, and and this independence can ref, be, can be reflected on the on, on its relations with other countries, and of course the Danish uh, appreciate. Our, uh, this cooperation and this uh, understanding, uh, the Egyptian understanding of how important we should expand our uh, relations with uh, a country like uh, Denmark with our own sources of power and, uh, and gas and, uh, and other sources. This is how we can deal and expand our relations with uh, friendly countries and making it even better 
live uh, live for uh, for nations uh, uh, each in, uh, in each in uh, each country uh, in Egypt and in Denmark. Yes, uh, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your uh, valuable you. information, Mr. Amr yeah. Abdurrahman, uh, journalist, writer, and political analyst. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break, and I'm going to be back with you. Egypt opens up to the world. President Abdel Fattah Sisi meets with world leaders.